So Steve, tell us about animal bears and macaroon bears and why they're the bears of your childhood. Because back in the 90s when, the, I don't know, macaroon might be older actually. Macaroons are fairly I'm old. Fairly old, but they're like really nice coconutty chocolate. And then animal bars is just like a little, it's just chocolate with pictures of animals on it. Mm -hmm. And there's a little game in the wrapper. Mm -hmm. And they used to be like 10p and now they probably cost 50 cents each. Well, you can buy them in the multi-packs, but I remember I used to always buy them just for whatever amount. Yeah, for like hardly any peas. Um, I can't open a help. No, 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 not that. I'm trying to eat my chocolate. I don't know, I thought you wanted to open No, I said, obviously, you could see me struggling trying to open this. I see you struggling every time. God almighty. Hey, look. How many flowers can you find in the jungle? How many, Steve? There's seven. Seven. Yeah. I, maybe you can colour in and But there used to be, like, mazes in there, like you. Well, there might be a mile. Let me check one out. Albie is here. He had his delicious food, didn't you, Albie? Look at your beard, full of it. Full of the food. Oh, yours is a match. What? How many parrots are flying? Oh, to the left. My left or your left? There's four of them. Now, we're going to eat them. But I suppose I better show the inside. The animal. We have to see what animal is on it. And they have names. And it's nice chocolate too. It's pretty good, decent chocolate. Oh look, Iggy iguana and Percy parrot. That's what I have. What oh, is it? Okay, there is different animals. Um, but these are the ones we've gotten. And then you can like break it in half. And then what I used to do as a kid was eat around the animal. You can break it off. Right? And leave the animal for last. Yeah, I'll show you with the macaroon when I'm around here because I'm just trying to trespass. Oh, it's the caravan home, yes. Have you told her how you feel? Yes, yeah, right, Steve. The caravan home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah,
magical and whimsical and just yeah i just really really love it it's very um it, it reminds me a little of neil gaiman but more so not the writing at all like the writing is very different to neil gaiman's writing but just the kind of setting and the whim whimsicalness of it but it's not like too far whimsical like the terry pratchett book that i've read i've only read one of his where it's that's so outlandish and it's so fantasy whereas this is slightly mixed and um i don't know it suits it very well it's just really good the writing's really nice as well and um yeah i'm liking that so at the same time i picked up a kindle book i was looking at the recommendations from the hosts so the books recommendations and one of them was it came from the multiplex AE's midnight chill chillers yeah um so this is like a mix of it's on my kindle this is a mix of different short stories and um, I've read several now and I kind of forget which ones it is. Just hang on a second and I see, can I find, yeah, this, so I've, re I've read a good few. There's still a good few left. So I read Alien Parasites from Outer Space and then The Return of the Alien Parasites from Outer Space. Those two stories were just fine. They weren't the greatest. The writing wasn't really that brilliant or anything like that. I read Negative Creep and I've kind of forgotten what that one is. Hang on, let me just go to it. Um, oh yeah, the Negative Creep one actually I did like. Um, I didn't like it at first. I think it's the one I liked the most so far, which is odd. I just didn't realize it was Negative Creep, but it was called. Um, the main character in this story is not very likable. Um, something has happened to his friends. You don't really know what. And it's a bit mysterious in the story and yeah, it's just it's just kind of weird it's got kind of a weird vibe to it and i i did like it um the one before it the aliens alien parasites from outer space was just about a kid watching films and realizing that there was kind of a message in the film that there was alien parasites around or something like that these stories are so short that it's not really worth telling you what they're about because it can be spoilers and yeah it's not really it's very hard to just tell you what they're about because they're just so short oh yeah helioloid are like these friends who decide to do like a seance or some kind of ritual or something and then um something kind of comes after them again all of these are kind of based in movie theaters or from the 80s or like back in the day or whatever and um, I love the setting of all of these. That's definitely um, one of the really good aspects of them all. They all have kind of an interesting setting, it being the 80s and in stuff to do with movies. So yeah, this Telluloid one was fine. It wasn't great, but it wasn't terrible either. The next one was Roy, Roy's Ye Vermin. This one was a little bit better. I had some like LGBTQ kind of rep in it and um, it was fun um but nothing too amazing either like nothing i don't think any of these stories have really blown my mind or anything yet then we have the cronenberg Con concerto concerto <laughs> i think that's how you say it that one actually i did quite like it was kind of interesting concerto. where it went Con concerto? concerto concerto concerto, concerto. Yeah. okay anyway i like that one and then Creature Feature, what was Creature Feature? Oh, Creature Feature, yeah, that one was okay as well. I kind of felt it was a bit like predictable and yeah, it was weird. Again, if I tell you what these are about, it's gonna kind of spoil it. So um, just read it for yourself if you want to know, I think that's the best thing. And then Invisible, um, which was by Mario Avedo, Avesto? Av I have no idea how to say that. Where, what have you got? Steve? He's got something. So the next one was Invisible. I think actually this one might be my favourite one so far. It was about um, a serial killer. That's not kind of a spoiler. That is literally what's happened. And even though I kind of could see where it was going and I kind of knew what was going to happen, um, it was still a lot of fun. So I think I'm on to screen haunt i think 
and I haven't read that one yet. I was reading it last night, but I was tired and I went to sleep. And um, yeah, so far, like they've been middling. They've all been just okay. And then some have been better than others, but like nothing has been mind blowing five stars or anything like that yet. Um, but I will keep reading it because it's really handy to read it at night when I'm in bed just to read like a short story. And it's definitely um, reminded me that I need to read some more anthology kind of ones um, at night because it's just so easy to get through them. Um, yeah, but I will keep reading. I, I don't. I don't hate it, you know what I mean? I, I do, I am enjoying it at the same time. I am kind of interested to know what the next stories are gonna be. But I think a lot of the time with any kind of short story collection like this or anthology, it is very hard to like the book as a whole because all the stories are so different and they're all from different authors and with different ideas. And you know, you're kind of sometimes reading a short story and you want might want more of it and then you're moving on to something else that you, might not like as much and yeah so it's just it it kind of depends I do find short stories by the one author sometimes are a little better because it's a bit more coherent and put together um but obviously that's just my opinion um if you like the idea of it because um that main idea of it being in the 80s and about films movies movie theaters um is really good just got really good vibes. Anyway, I have a busy day today. I have to go get an eye test and then I will be back and we have a few things that we need to do. I need to do more reading. I also have a tattoo appointment coming up that I need to do a little bit of like research for. Um, I have X-Files magazines that I wanna go through just to get some ideas for these spaces that are left in my tattoo sleeve of the X-Files. And um, yeah, we might try and do some other fun things later. Merle, say bye bye. Come around here. No, Merle, come here. Up here. Up. Up. Yeah, good boy. Oh, <laughs> good boy. Um, from me and Merle, it is goodbye. Oh. So here's my lovely collection of X-Files thingamajiggers. I wanna get some of my magazines, which are here, and they're comics as well, so it's a mix of different things. I'm gonna take some of them out and go through them just so that I can see if there's any inspiration for my tattoos, and I'm gonna watch some episodes later too, I think. So I'm filming some of this because I love some of the ads in this. So we've got Spawn. I've never seen this. Um, but I look at the pictures of it. It looks terrible and I can't wait to see it. Uh, sorry about Merle backing in the dark. The dark round? The background. Um, Kyle McLaughlin. So I didn't... I don't particularly remember him being in an episode. So I need to watch them again. Do you remember him in an episode of... I spot, no. I'm we usually good at spotting people. We need to catch them because it has a scanner thing on it too, so I think it's just about something. Oh, I'm totally wrong. Yeah. It's Roswell. Oh, wait, there was was there a film called Roswell? No, the TV show Roswell, isn't it? No, it's 1994. Not that one, be the TV show. When was the TV show? Roswell? TV show, was that not the 2000s? Hmm. Okay, we'll figure that out later. Okay, I didn't know that. That's interesting. So maybe this is like talking about, yeah, because that's that's naked lunch, isn't it? Or am I right? Wrong. Which one? No, that's something else. The Adventures of Bookaroo. Bookaroo Banzai in the dimension. Yeah. Peter Weller, I that blue I I do not know these things. So, yeah, I know Men in Black. Obviously, what's this one from? Which one? Of the alien. Oh, that's, that's, that's Roswell again. Okay. I need to see these. Oh, that's Scanners, yeah. What's this one? Invasion of the Body Snatchers. Did you want to watch that, Steve, didn't you? I mentioned yeah, but that was the 70s one. This is the 90s one. 1993. 
Okay, I'm talking about that far too long. I just wanted to show you some of the ads in this because they're amazing. Um, these are like ads for all signed posters and photos. This is the X-Files game. I actually have the X-Files game on PlayStation um, out on my shelf. Um, amazing. Some anime. Oh, wait. We've got everyone there. Great. Yeah, I really want a lone gunman tattoo. I may see about getting that. Um, I love these ads. These are amazing. Anyway, I was looking at this. This was interesting. A pinball machine backlash trans light. What the hell is that? I d like, is it the top bit of a pinball machine? I, d I don't really understand what that means. Um, but I'm going to be looking that up now to see if I find one. Um, yeah, this is where I was. Godzilla, I loved this film so much when it came out. I think this came out in 1998. Um, wait. Am I right? So I was eight when this came out. Steve is playing his game. Sorry, you can hear people being murdered. Um, I love this so much. I really need to get these things. So I didn't know there was a novelization of it. I need it. Um, the making of Godzilla, I need that. Really, really need that. And then it's a postcard book. I know that there's loads of X-Files postcard books that I keep meaning to purchase. Um, but I didn't know there was Godzilla ones. For anyone who doesn't know, this is the Godzilla with Matthew Broderick is in it. Um, everyone says it's terrible. I think it's one of the best Godzilla movies. It shows Godzilla so much. It's really 90s. It's very heavy 90s. I, I love it. Um, ooh. Godzilla Revenge. Wait, how many? Is this like a whole bit about Godzilla in it? Oh my god. Steve. Yeah. It's got a whole bit about Godzilla in it. Oh, the crappy Godzilla. Yeah, no, the best one. Mm. Okay, now we're going on to something else. No, that's amazing because I, I love that film so much. And it's like a combination of X Files. Magazine and Godzilla, and <laughs> it's just so good. Anyway, I'm gonna continue just to go through this. I know that man. Is this the man? Is this the man, Steve? Yeah. That keeps turning up in things, and then he was in North by North Northwest, and he was really young. And like, yeah, is it that that that, that guy again? I think he's haunting me. Oh. Um. Mm hmm. Martin Lando? Yeah, Martin Lando. There's his name there. Yeah, so... Um, oh, he is, though. Here's the lone gunman again. Oh, there they are, look. They're with Munch. Oh, I love it. Um, Yeah, I have, I have a lone gunman ishy tattoo. How do I... I can see it slightly when I do this. There. You see the red? That's a lone gunman. It says like their logo or whatever. So I'm actually thinking maybe for one of my next main tattoos on my sleeve, it might be like a actual lone gunman one. Because I do love them a lot. Um, wait. Oh my god. Steve, this is crazy. It's a whole bit about him. Oh, who? Martin Landau. Oh. Isn't that crazy? That is crazy. Yeah, so, like, I'm telling you, in it was North by Northwest, wasn't it, that he was in? Yeah. And he was so young. He was younger than this. That's not even... He was way younger. Um... But yeah, he just kept, you know, the, that way where you just watch things and he keeps creeping up in them. That's what kept happening to me lately. Oh, here we go. I've never watched this. I've watched some of it. Um, I always thought it was like more, it was more adult than X-Files, like more serious or something about it. What was it? Um, Millennium. Never watched it either. No. Which is weird, considering... Lance Henriksen. Yeah, like Lance Henriksen. Like, you know, you'd see him in a lot of things. And I'm just realising who else is in it. Locke from Lost is in it. 
Um, his I'm name is Terry Quinn, isn't it? Terry O'Quinn. Terry. Terry O'Quinn, you're right. He's got an O like me. Okay, this has gotten very long, so I'm going to stop now. But this was a lot of fun, and I have so many magazines. I'd love to do, like, a whole video going through them, but, I mean, we'd be here forever. Forever, ever. But they are so good to look at. Who is this man? I think it's just another film, is it? I don't know. Oh, look at all this stuff. Look at all of this. I want all of these things. I'm always on the lookout. That's what I have. So that was my sister's watch. I have it in there too when it's in the tin. It's a bit rusted. I need to figure out how to get the rust off without damaging it. Probably WD-40. Probably some WD-40 would do it. Dr Dragon Con. Ooh. The creators of South Park. <laughs> oh, Ray Harryhausen, Steve. Yeah. Steve. Yeah. It says stop thinking with your joystick. What does that mean? To blow away those aliens, you'll have to use a total different kind of weapon. Your brain. What is this? XCOM Interceptor. Wow. Wait, XCOM? Uh, yeah. That's the one I'm thinking of. Could it's be. weird. Look at This is it here. This hmm. is screenshots of it, like. I played the newer versions of it. Anyway, that's it. What was this magazine? Sci-fi flicks. I don't know why it was all really X-Files and then some other stuff too. But mainly X-Files. I don't know anything about this magazine. These are the official um, X-Files ones though.
So I'm watching some sprints. They're still on. Merle, there's no what's happening because I'm talking. They're still on. While um they were talking and stuff, I used this super cute unicorn <laughs> thing to make a bracelet. And it says old school April. It is way too big. I didn't like do it properly, but it's not coming off. And I do Oh my god, Merle! You frightened the life out of me. You drink the water too fast. You Egypt. You frightened the freaking life out of me. Oh Jesus. Basically, I wear a watch, so this might actually work out. Um, I will wear the watch tomorrow and show you. But uh, oh yeah, look, you can see it. I'll take some better shots tomorrow as well. But it says old school April, and it's really cute. I love it. Mara loves it too. Hello and welcome to the final day of old school April. I'm very sad that it's the final day. Um, I wish I had more days to do stuff, but um, at the same time, I'm excited to finish it up. Excited to finish my book I'm reading, um, which is, it came from the multiplex, which I'm still reading and it's on my Kindle. So I'm actually going to do some reading now because today <laughs> already hasn't gone to plan. I slept in, like, I slept in a lot. My fibro is just, I'm so sore everywhere. Um, everywhere is sore. My arms are sore, my legs are sore, my whole body is sore. I think it was just, I've done a lot the last few days, which, you know, is normal for quite a lot of people. But if you have fibromyalgia, it's not very normal. Anyway, I'm up. I want to read. I want to finish this Kindle book. And um, last night you would have seen I was tuned into the Slumber Party um, live show. And I had to go to bed because it was too late. But it's uploaded now to YouTube. So I'm going to like play it from where I was last night. And last night they were literally just about to do an hour long sprint so that's great i'll be able to do that now and read some of my book to get it finished for today i also today i want to do a fort so a blanket fort was one of the challenges um i'm not gonna wake, make one for myself but i am gonna make one for albie because he loves like hiding in things so um stick around for that and then after that, I'm not too sure, but sure, we'll keep going anyway, and I'll be back to you then. I just need to wake up and get myself some energy because I'm wore out. Oh, I'll show you what I got yesterday too. Um, we had, we got, we went a bit crazy in Smith's Toys yesterday. <laughs> uh, yeah, I got my new Switch and it's amazing. It's so lovely. I was playing some of it last night, but I was very tired, but um, it's, it's really lovely. So it's Zelda themed. Um, I might talk about more about that later because I can't right now. I'm just a bit exhausted. <laughs> I need to get food and stuff and I'll be back to you in a bit soon. So I couldn't make a fort for me because it's just a bit too difficult and a small house. But I decided to make a fort for somebody else. Are you having a nice time in there, Albie? He's got his light and he's got his little Trudy friend. He's got his little bed. Oh, <laughs> are you sleeping? Are you? He's got his little drink and he's got his laptop. Oh. Do you love it? I think it worked out pretty well, didn't it, Abby? It's your own little fort. I bet you're going to crawl out of it right now. He loves it. You want to come out so when we finish up? Yeah. 
This is actually an earring. I have the other one inside. Merla is demolishing a piece of cardboard because it is the box. Well, he's having a great time. Are you ready to come out? You'll probably go to sleep there. I think you would. Wouldn't you? Here's a drink. You're looking at the light. It's a little light I got in one of the kawaii boxes, I think it is. It's just a tea light and this lovely little cover on it. Yeah. You good little fella. So it is months later, I think it's like four months later, um, it is August. <laughs> um, I am so sorry that this is up so late. I genuinely thought I had actually posted this video, but what happened was I edited it. So all that you've seen was already edited and it was in my editor. And I never actually got around to posting it and I thought I did. I just never checked. I basically kind of went on a bit of a hiatus-ish thing. I don't know the last while. And that's why I kind of didn't look back to check. And I feel like my mind is so scattered. Especially the last while. I mean, I think you could kind of tell from these vlogs and stuff. Kind of how difficult it was to do them. I had a lot of fun though. But it was quite difficult. And I just, my memory has not been the greatest. And because I left a video there and didn't like finish it off, I just forgot that I, I never finished it. Completely forgot about it until I was just, um, I had to use my editor for something. And um, I saw it and I was like, oh wait, did I never even post that? <sighs> That's where my mind has been um, the last few months. Um, it was an unscheduled hiatus. I didn't kind of mean to just stop. Um, and I kind of want to do a proper update, so I'm not going to say much here because it would just take too long. But um, if you would like to see a wrap up of Old School April, let me know. I could maybe do that. I'm I'm just not too sure <laughs> um, what I'm doing yet at the moment. I'm still not the greatest. My chronic illness is just at me a lot and my mental health is at me a lot. And I'm having a lot of just like just not being proactive and very unmotivated and sore and hazy and foggy and you know everything there's just a, a lot of things going on um I had so much fun with old school April though I really did and I can't wait for next year because I definitely want to try and do it and I, I did really did have so much fun with it and I'm really glad that I did it and um I really think I would like to do a wrap up so I might try and do that and with that wrap up I will kind of give maybe a better update of where I've been and what's been happening which isn't a lot if I'm honest like it's so strange because three four months have passed but it doesn't feel like that much has passed I didn't think it was that long ago um like since old school April but like it's April it's August like but that's where my mind is I it's so um jittered and just all over the place and chaotic um anyway I had a good time I hope you like these vlogs if you have to go back and watch the others um do so because you might have forgotten like I did um but yeah I will maybe see you in my next video sometime soon we'll see when it is um yeah, just keep watching anyway and keep subscribed. And I 
we'll see you then and thank you very much for the love for the last two videos um for old school april the vlogs because um i got a lot of love for them and thank you so much and i see your comments i'm absolute worst at replying i want to get better at that and um just know that i do see them and i will see you in my next one bye